building the wood stove with propane tanks with pilsel. I ended up picking up some hinges today, I did. So the hinges will put right about here as well. And uh, we'll mark this out for where the door ski is. We'll weld that hinge on there. Now we might have to grind just a little bit of this weld off here. Just so the hinge lays flat on the tank, eh? Pretty right, we're gonna. So we'll grind that off. We'll weld that up. I got some three inch pipe over here behind me for the, the old muffler, the old uh, exhaust pipage, okay? So we'll weld that on there, cut off a piece of that, maybe put a lid or two on it. Gotta go over my junk bowl and see what I got. But I got another tank and another base to build another one I did because I had my 24 friggin' feet just to get some three inch pipe. Friggin' right I did. Thanks a lot, can of steel. Who wouldn't it? Hey, okay. love you boys. If you need any steel boys, make sure you go in to see Canada Steel there on uh, McGregor Road, boys. Hey, okay. McGregor Road South. And now uh, we'll fix it right up a little. But let's get a grind out here. We'll grind that on a flat and we'll uh... Get Will Matt, be dad, take a bottle out of there. Fly away to me. Hey, what the hell wouldn't we boys? So first thing we're gonna need is the grinder. And for this we're gonna have to change the grinder blade. We're gonna have to go with a an actual grinding desk, eh? To grind this. So we'll undo this, pull this off. There, boys. And we'll put an actual grinding grinding desk on there. So now we're gonna plug her in. Jim, plug her in, Jim. Oh, God. Don't look over here, whatever you do. Extension cord's gone wild for freak's sakes. No way. Here, we'll just use a short one, boys. Just use a short one for this. You don't need a long extension cord by all means. Alright, so let's grind this well nice and flaxy. And not fire towards the camera this time. Oh. Oh, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There she is, boys. Perfect. So now we'll get out the welder and we'll pack weld the hinge right there onto the tank of Ruskies. And you know what, I wish you could see me better, boys, but I can't help it. I'll zoom in if I have to. Hey, why wouldn't I? So what we need to do is... Plug the welder in. Sure, right, dude. Unplug the trailer, boys. The trailer's got to think, what the hell's going on? Make me tired, will ya? Get out the sticky, Ricky. Get out the ground around you. How about it, Captain? Now for this one, we're gonna put a glove on, because I'm gonna hold that son of a bitch. Do I not have a welding glove in this fucking garage? Hey, let's use a glove with a hole in it. No welding gloves for me, I guess. Look at that, yeah, made of money. We want it right about there, we do. So we'll stick it down there and we'll do our attack roots. Fucking glove is useless. Look at it, boys. Just put my glove onto my finger, dude. Frickin' right, that felt decent. Hey, look at that. Pretty great, it is. Decent. Ow! Here we go, boys. So what I did was... Careful! Welded where the holes were for the hinge, basically. She should be met. Finish cutting that door open. And then we'll have a door. A door right me. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure from there to here. Let's do the door six inches. We'll do it on the sweet spot. Ah, that's hot! Six inches is a sweet spot. They say, obviously you'll never be at that sweet spot, boys. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm gonna take a ruler and we'll draw a line out. And then we'll do another alignage. Something right there. I'll just go with it, okay? Just go with it, boys. This doesn't have to be 100% for Frank's sakes. So whenever you change your grinder disc, make sure to plug this up a bitch. Because that's how you lose a freaking finger. I almost lost one there a couple weeks ago because of that. You gotta remember to shut that welder off so you can hear what I'm saying for Frank's sakes. I always forget to leave the goddamn welder on. Frank, boys. Alright, so we'll grind away from the camera. There we go. We're almost got a door here, we do. Oh, 
I was gonna be able to give her a little tap and she should open up. There she is, boys. You know, pickle tool. You know, pickle el tool. Oh, oh Carol. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, she's still stuck somewhere. There it goes. Decent. Check it out, eh? Oh, yeah, we do. What do you think of that? Hey, leave your comments below and tell me what you think of that because that's pretty freaking cool. And don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too, why wouldn't you? So, now, we gotta determine how high the chimney we need. And then we gotta cut this in half. So I'm thinking, I wanna make sure I don't go too high because if I wanna put a 90 on it and go up my gazebo roof, I can. So I'm thinking if I go, which you're gonna have a hard time seeing. Let me move you up a tad. Move you up a tad and I'll back up a tad. How's that? You see me? Perfect. So I figured if I come off of it and go about that high, boys, I'm thinking four feet. Yeah, let's go four feet. Let's go half of this. That way you can use it for two. We've got eight feet, just under eight feet. Come off of four feet, boys. And let me tell you, those guys just cut big time. Can you even see? Probably not. Right, look at that thing. Tell me that thing does look fucking decent. Freaking right, does. So we'll mark it out with a marker and we'll give her a split of risky. There we go. So now the problem here is if you don't have a hole saw, I'll show you another way of doing her. I do have a hole saw, but I'm not going to use a hole saw because I don't want to use that grinder because I love it. But I got to watch the camera here, make sure I don't hit it. So if you just take your grinder and you just Use the grinder to do this. Hear that loud obnoxious noise? That means you're getting close. Basically, if you just take a grinder and just slowly work at it, trying to make her around as possible, and almost get through her, hey? Right? You gotta take your time, boys. And then you take a hammer, we should be able to tap it out. That's how you do it. We're able to just tap it right out of there, boys. You pretty much get a round hole you do. Now, I might have to do some fine tweaking and tuning and stuff like that to get the pipe in here. But it should be pretty close. So by the looks of it, fuck a damn near freaking close place. All I need to really do is take my uh, 90 degree suck it all here and just give her a little cleanup job. Then you can just clean her up if you don't. Then you can just use a file or whatever you got. I might have to use a file. So it's okay. Smoke's got somewhere to roll, eh? Yeah, let's keep going. That's not cheap out here. If you want to do, boys, you can just weld it to the top. But like anything, I like it in just a little bit because that way you create an updraft. Oh my god, it's like right there, man. <laughs> Bet you if I just tap the edge of that, she'll go right in. See what I mean? See how it's just slightly in? That's the way I like her, boys. That way it creates like an updraft, eh? See that, boys? Night vision. Gotta love it, eh? Trigger right now, we can weld that all up again. All right, so now we'll just kind of eyeball it. Oh, careful. How does it look back there? That looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Trigger right, it does. So let's weld her out, jump. Ah, here you go. 
before I get too carried away, they're putting the tack on each side so it doesn't turn on me. It's definitely coming down some. It's a problem when you heat things up, boys. You like to move on you. Before you finish this thing, I want to put like a grate in here so I can clean it out and a little handle knob on here. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to light it up and we're going to burn the paint off her. That way I can uh, get some paint, barbecue paint. Okay, we'll get some barbecue paint and we'll paint her up all nice and black. And if you want one, leave your comments below. 200 bucks, boys. My time's worth a lot, you know. So we'll chop up some wood and we'll get her fired up. We will. Look at her. She's already going. She is. We already got a fire. We already got enough draft, too. Freaking, why didn't we get enough draft? Decent. This is freaking awesome. You should hear the updraft on her. Listen to that updraft. Hey, she's pretty clean right now. Freaking right it is. <laughs> Frig, look at her coming out of there. Boys, girls, peoples. This is how the dirty old Bill Sproles it is. Let's get this back open and we'll stork her some more. It actually holds quite a bit of wood. Shut the door, give her a little out of draft, hear it clicking. Right, the wood starts burning, it is. Thing's pretty efficient. Holy, especially she just cracked the door. I slapped some dirty old plywood in there we did. <laughs> She's not quite burning yet, eh? Look at that thing smoke away. Holy, that thing is just friggin' giving her on the smoke level. Oh, let's open her up, get some airflow going. Oh, there she goes, boys. And she's starting to burn the paint off her, boys. So she's gonna smoke a lot. Choo choo choo. Huh? Choo choo. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video of making the fireplace. I'm not quite done with it yet, so I'll show you when I'm finished the knobs and the grating inside. But she's pretty damn close, so don't forget to subscribe and like. Leave any comments below if you like this idea. And if you want the old dirty old bills of the make you one, why wouldn't you, eh? But uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day like me, not doing anything I didn't do, and you know what to do for now. <laughs>